Okay, I'm here again. This time I'm with the Fitbit Alta. We're going to talk about setting it up. There's two options. You could either use your cell phone or you could use your computer. When you get your box, it's going to look exactly like this. This happens to be an additional band. They are purchased separately. So maybe later in the video we'll talk about how easy it is to set this up. So for now, we'll put it aside. First thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to open the box, slide it right open. Okay, and it's a magnetic strip right here. So pull it back, open it up. First thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to pop the box, the watch out. Put that right there. And then you have some reading material, which you know nobody reads, so we'll put that aside. Open this, and you have two things. You have your charging cable, and you have your little Bluetooth adapter. So in this video, we're going to be using the phone. It could be an iPhone, a Windows phone, <clears throat> doesn't matter. So we do not need the Bluetooth adapter. So I'll put that away. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do, before you do anything, you know when you get the watch, <clears throat> it's not charged, so you're gonna wanna charge it completely before you go about setting it up. So you open the watch, and on the back you'll see three little prongs, and on the charging cable itself, it's kinda like a little butterfly clip, a clothes pin, you'll see two. So make sure it's lined up correctly. You don't want to scratch the watch. And open it a little bit. Push it in, wiggle it back and forth. Make sure you have a secure connection, which we do. Okay, once you have that, you're going to want to set it aside, give it a full charge, and then we'll come back and we'll go from there and show you the steps very easy on how to set this up. Okay, so we're back. We have a full charge on our Fitbit. So the next thing we're going to use is go to the phone. Doesn't matter if it's an iPhone, an Android. All you need to do is open the App Store and type in Fitbit. Search it. Okay, and this is the one you want to download. No other one but this one. This is the main Fitbit Incorporated app. Open it up. Okay, I already have my account set up, but you're just going to want to use your name, email, basic information like your weight, your height, and, uh, and so on. Once you have all that set up, you're going to want to make sure your Bluetooth is on. That's very important, so make sure it's, it's already turned on. Once you have all that set up, go to set up a device. Okay, look to find your Fitbit that you're using. Today we're using the Alta, so click Alta. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open the watch, and you're going to want to connect the charging cable with the watch itself. Okay, once you have that connected, click next, click I agree. Okay, now it's going to show you basically what you want to set it up. Now, number three will not be used. That's only used when you're setting it up with the computer. Okay, so click next. It's searching. All right, so it found the tracker. Okay, so now it gave you a personal pin on the Fitbit itself. So I don't know if you could see that. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is enter that into the phone exactly as it's shown on the Fitbit. Okay, once that's done, it's going to connect to the Fitbit and sync it to your phone. All right, so once that's done, really, you're pretty much set. If you'd like, you can go and read everything it's listing. It's going to show you how to clean it how to wear it, if it gets wet, and so on. So for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna skip through all this. All right, what you want it to call you, enter in your name, what side you're wearing it, left or right wrist. Okay, how you want it displayed, do you want it vertically or horizontally? Right now we're gonna pick vertical. Okay, so now we're clicking done. It's basically all set up now. The reason why I like using the app is because you could really personalize the Fitbit. You could use it for your sleep, you can have an alarm, basically it will vibrate whenever you set the time for it. You can have it steps or calories burned and so on. Okay, so I hope you like this video. We're going to show you, we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how easy it is to change the straps. Alright, so make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and share this video. Thank you. Alright, so we have a blue band here. I definitely suggest getting the Fitbit logo ones that are basically made by the company. They're a lot higher quality than the ones you can buy on eBay or Amazon. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your Fitbit, and you're going to notice that there's two clasps on each end. 
So basically just push it straight down and straight back, okay? You're gonna wanna grab your new band, line it straight up, and you're gonna hear it click, ready? That's it. So again, pull that clasp down, straight out, line it up, straight in. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Oh, my God.